There will be a slow warm up for the rest of this week, but this morning as you head out the door, it's pretty cold. 34 out at the airport with 32 in many areas. We're looking at 29 in San Antonio, 24 in Dallas, but four in Amarillo. You know, it's one thing for us here in South Texas, we can always say, well, it could be worse because somebody's got it worse than that. If you can imagine, if it's four up there, it's below zero through much of the central plains. We do have uh, some pictures that came in thanks to uh, Yolanda Pacheco for sending the picture from Three Rivers of uh, water falling on some plants and uh, freezing. Of course, that uh, requires 32 degrees and we're right at it. Of course, to the north of us, it's, uh, watch this. Oh my gosh, uh, the uh, officer was responding to ice on the road. That's up uh, near Fort Worth. Then another car slides by. Uh, he's on the floor and manages to get out of the way of the car. Uh, pretty slippery stuff. So the, the concern for us, of course, is sleet at this point in time. We seem to be doing okay. Now, all this in purple is a hard freeze warning. In other words, they're going to be below freezing for about, one, two, three, about four days. So um, they didn't even get above freezing yesterday in San Antonio. However, we did. We got up to 37 yesterday afternoon. Now, even though we are uh, getting uh, sleet reported by the Doppler here, I'm not sure that's actually hitting the ground. Uh, we have, of course, the moisture in the clouds, and then we have this layer of dry air in the middle. So some of it may be falling down and evaporating before it actually hits the ground, but uh, it, we're right there. So let's just say uh, if you see any kind of little ice pellets dropping on your car, watch out. We are too close to freezing to assume that nothing's going to happen. Uh, the rest of the state, uh, well, at least they're dry. Right about now, we see no precipitation out there other than what we've got off the coast. This is that little stuff that's left over from yesterday, and much of this will be pushing out to sea. As a matter of fact, there's a little bit of an improvement as soon as tomorrow. That's sort of the good news, bad news. Bad news is that once this cloud deck clears late tonight, by tomorrow morning, we're really going to drop into the 20s. Now, um, if you're not prepared for, you know, freezing temperatures, if you didn't do it today, you better do it tonight because we're probably going to see some upper 20s here in the coastal bend. Massive ridge of high pressure covers all of the East Coast. This is the bitter cold uh, that brought sub-freezing and sub-zero weather to much of the Great Lakes. Boy, if you thought we had it bad, it's bad all over the country. And then over the next couple of days, we're going to see that cold air continuing to drop in. But cloud deck will begin to clear out of here as we finally get some dry air and some northwest winds. This storm is going to pull away into the east coast. You see a big snowstorm right about there. And the other thing that's going to be interesting is while the east has been bitter cold, the west has been very mild. That's not good news. That's bad news for all of us because a lot of our rivers begin in the mountains of the west. Well, finally, it looks like they're getting one little rain, one big rainstorm coming in. Uh, so in the next couple of days, they may get some actual rain out there and snow, which is important, not just for them, but could just remember the Rio Grande starts in Colorado. So if Colorado gets no snow, what's going into the Rio Grande. So we, we, we do that kind of situation. So as the skies clear tomorrow, we'll be at very cold mornings, but temperatures will slowly be warming up over the next couple of days. However, you're still going to need a coat. Get a load of this today, 38. Okay, tomorrow 47. And then we'll get up to 52 by Thursday, Friday. As we get closer to the weekend, we'll finally warm up to about 70 degrees sometime over the weekend before the next cold front comes in sometime on Monday with a little rain. This time it looks cold, but not frigid or not arctic. 